So ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow is the day finally when Jupiter makes his historic transit into the sign of Taurus on 1st of May, which is the first house of India's horoscope. So exciting times ahead. And here is one video for you, which will help you to find how is your Jupiter in the horoscope. So you might be confused about your Jupiter's placement. Oh, it's exalted in D1 and debilitated in D9. It's uh, uh, afflicted. It's uh, in Dustan. It's um, with functional malefics. Um, with functional benefics. With um, it's combust. All right. So <laughs> if you are. If you are confused with too many astrological in too too many astrological details and they all seem to cancel out each other and not give you a final verdict, then this video is for you. So ten signs you have a great Jupiter. What is the first sign? The first sign is the most important, and this surpasses all other signs. Even if you have all the other nine, you don't have this, then. Maybe Jupiter is not very well placed in your chart. The first sign is Athato Brahma Jigyasa, which means as the Vedanta Sutra says, now you inquire about the higher truth. So the first truth is that the first indication that you have not a good, a great Jupiter is that you believe there is something beyond matter. Okay. Now you may not believe that is, you know, God or the spiritual world or something, but you believe there is much more then what it seems there is okay so if somebody is talking to you about you know something higher you know some higher consciousness you know spirituality or it, it could be anything to do with chakras or you know uh, the other world you know devas or devi or anything which is beyond the world then you know that you are very much interested and this is the sign that you have a great Jupiter because Jupiter is the significator of spirituality. He's the significator of the soul, the pure soul. Okay, not not the soul which is <clears throat> identifying with matter. That is more of the sun. That is why Surya is the Atma Kara. Okay, but Jupiter is Jeev Kara. He's Atma. He never dies, and that is why Jupiter is the indicator of. Uh, he's the significator of the liver in the body, and the liver is the only organ that can regenerate itself uh, completely right unless it's like completely gone <laughs> okay so you will always see jupiter is children so what happens when you have children then they have children they have children they have children so your lineage continues so it's like the soul which never dies as krishna says in the bhagavad gita Na hanne mane so the study of the soul the study of atma the study of god the spiritual realm <clears throat> Your karmas, the shastras, you know, Guru Shishya Parampara, if you are obsessed with all of these, then Guru is well placed in your chart. All right. This is the first and it surpasses everything else. <laughs> Number two, people naturally come to you for seeking guidance and inspiration. So <clears throat> it's very easy to identify a person with a good Jupiter. So if you see within your circles, you know, you will see that. <laughs> You know, if if people come to you when they run into problems, you know, or they want some guy general motivation or inspiration in life, you know, just two words you speak and you know they become happy, or you, know, you can uplift people, okay, or they have some serious problems in your life and they come to you for guidance. They they seek, uh, they seek your advice, okay. If they do this, then you know a guru is very well placed because. Guru is the karaka for giving guidance and also inspiration. Okay. So if you have you if if you are naturally having these traits, then you can ensure you, you can be rest assured that your guru is very powerful and you should make it more stronger by doing spiritual practices, by reading, by chanting mantras, you know, by cultivating yourself spiritually then you will be able to inspire and guide many more others okay so therefore take this as a thumbs up and move ahead positively number three you can also you can hear but and not just speak okay the people in kali yuga people of today are addicted to speaking why because mostly people are lonely so what happens is you will always observe <clears throat> when you go to meet people sometimes or 
these days you go and meet anybody they're only talking about themselves now why this is happening because to a large extent people are becoming very self obsessed they are only they only they think that they are the center of the universe they only think that they matter okay but the other reason is because they are also becoming lonely therefore a person who cannot hear others cannot become okay cannot speak properly okay you may jab you may blabber all nonsense of the world this is happening that is happening in my country this happens in my culture it happens like this but if you cannot hear see jupiter is the ears okay jupiter is the significator of the ears and when the guru initiates the disciple he chants you know in depending on the parampara and the level of initiation many times the guru literally chants the mantra in the ears of the disciple so therefore if you cannot hear then you can never be a, a good listener a pro productive sincere listener a talker also okay so therefore if you can hear from people if you can hear from your guru you can hear from your seniors your elders uh, primarily uh, not just you know mundane seniors okay not not that somebody is in your family or somebody is you know in your society circle or office you are just hearing no it's not that but primarily if you can hear scriptural knowledge you know spiritual knowledge or in general you are a good listener then you know jupiter is very well placed but if you cannot then you have to cultivate this okay try to hear people try to listen to people without interrupting them okay this is very 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 important this is one of the biggest uh, crisis i see in kaliuga <laughs> any time you are just talking to somebody they are always interrupting you okay so at least don't be the one doing so okay <clears throat> then number 4 you identify yourself very strongly with a spiritual community so <clears throat> this is somewhat the second uh, stage of you know point number 1 where you believe you know there is some higher power so which you know you believe there is you know a spiritual consciousness and you just don't believe it you now you go next you you go one step ahead you go and associate yourself with some spiritual community and you identify with it very strongly which means you now you follow the rules and regulations and you you believe that you are a part of that community it's not like you know some superficial uh, hanging around here there you you actually believe that i am a part of this spiritual community and if i stay in this community i will benefit myself and that is where i should stay in this community and i should benefit myself and others and also transform my my consciousness and the consciousness of the world so if you have a very strong identification with some guru shishya parampara with some sampraday then you then you are blessed beyond limits okay you must have done a lot of pious karma in your previous lifetimes because of which you are being uh, rewarded with this okay so therefore it, it's not easy if you have this i mean you are really blessed beyond doubt okay beyond your imagination actually and number 5 is again the next step of this so you identify with spiritual community so first of all you believe there is something beyond matter then you identify yourself with the spiritual community and then number 3 which is point number 5 is that you consistently do your spiritual practices and you maintain your spiritual commitments okay so for example you go to a spiritual community and the guru has uh, laid down certain rules and principles to follow the do's and don'ts you follow them diligently consistently for a long 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 period of time or ideally till your last breath okay so if you can do this if you are able to follow your spiritual commitments for a very long period of time and you are following them without fail then congratulations your jupiter is fantastic there is no doubt on it because this is only possible if you have very strong conviction so if you have very strong conviction then you know that you need to do this at any cost and you need to avoid certain things at any cost also so if you have very strong conviction about your spiritual community about your guru and your practices then your jupiter is exceptionally well placed okay number 6 jupiter is the karaka for marriage family and children right is the karaka for the second house 
fifth house, seventh house, ninth house, eleventh house. So <laughs> this means if Jupiter is well placed, you will value family, marriage, and children. Very, very, very important. <laughs> now, everybody may say, Oh, yeah, yeah, I value family. No, but it's not that kind of value. It is that kind of value where you are ready to do anything for them. It's like you are ready to die for them. Okay. And especially uh, marriage also because Guru is also the card for the seventh house. Uh, especially for ladies but in uh, general also. I mean for men Venus is the card. But in general he is also the card for you know, ninth house which is your dharma, your commitment and eleventh house fulfillment of desire. So e either you are man or woman Guru is the card for marriage at a higher level. Okay. <clears throat> Even for men. So very 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 important are you ready to uh, are you ready to die <laughs> you don't have to but if required ask yourself you know, are you ready to uh, are you ready to uh, make the necessary sacrifices because marriage family children these are very difficult it's not easy so if your guru is well placed you will you will do everything to make ends meet and you will do everything to maintain your marriage you know to have good children to keep your children knowledgeable you know spiritual materially good you know overall to uplift them you know you will do everything you will pray for them you will do whatever is required to make their life better even sometimes better than yours okay so if you have that then at a mundane level your jupiter is strong but again there are many people who may have this, but this is not like the number one quality which is required for a great Jupiter. But along with the other things that I said, if you also have this, then, well, yes, you are a man of sacrifice. Okay. Number seven, you stay true to yourself and to others. Now, staying true to yourself and others does not mean you, you just uh, don't speak lies. You know, it does not mean that. <clears throat> It means that also, but along with that, it primarily means that you don't identify yourself or you don't do anything with which uh, you don't believe in. Okay. So suppose you are a social media star and there is you know, some company comes, you know, like some alcohol company comes and, you know, asks you, hey, you know, I will, uh, will you promote this product? You know, we'll give you, you know, a million dollars, you know, then you will say no, because alcohol will harm the society more it has already done so much damage it will do more damage so at least i will not be the one promoting it so i will stay true to myself because this is what i strongly believe in so you will stay true to your beliefs and when required you may also change your beliefs if required if if that's the need of the hour okay and if your Jupiter is not well placed, you will be very flickering. You know, your mind will just keep oscillating from this, that, this, that, this, that, this, that. Okay. Very problematic situation. And you will also speak lies. You will also hurt others. And nobody will trust you. Okay. Number eight. You love to share your knowledges and resources with others. This is very, very, very important. This is something very, very crucial for if you want to improve your Jupiter. So irrespective of the fact that you have this or not, this is a very big remedy to improve your Jupiter. So if you have some knowledge, try to share it with others. Okay. If you have some resources, try to share it with others. Try to help others and see that uh, they will also help you in back you will always see this happens naturally okay now of course this does not mean you should help them just because they will help you back but in that's a way your karma comes back okay so try to be selfless but in general be open be more forgiving be more giving you no know, share your resources unless you know it's like very daunting for you <laughs> So if you share, the more you give, the more you get. And the more you get, the more you should give. Okay. So that you receive even further and you can give more. So therefore, this intake should be there. So whenever you are getting something from somebody, try to give something back. Okay. Either you can give uh, money, donation, or you can't give that. Then you can uh, give some good words of appreciation. Okay. There are so many people in your life who are doing so many positive things to you. Right. Uh, but you 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 will realize you seldom express your gratitude okay so you don't have to give money you don't have to give food or anything many times you just have to give some nice kind words of appreciation and good blessings if you can give that 
that itself is a great boon in Kali Yuga, okay? Because people are mostly negative and selfish and uh, very crooked. Number nine, you share, you, you find meaning behind all the good and the bad that happens to you. So, number nine is a classic indication of the shloka in the Bhagavad Gita, no? Where Krishna says, Sarva dharma paritya maam ekam sharanam, aham tvam sarva pape bhyo mokshai shami masu chaha. So Krishna says, you know, abandon all varieties of religion and surrender unto me. I will deliver you from all sinful reactions. O Arjuna, do not fear. Ma Suchaha. Krishna says this. So you, you actually don't just hear it. You actually believe it and you lead your life in a way that exemplifies this shloka. Because this shloka, see the Bhagavad Gita is the, it's like the summary, uh, the crux of all the Upanishads and this shloka is the crux of the Gita. So this shloka, whoever understands that God is in control and I will get things as per my destiny and God's desire and I should accept the will of the Lord. So whoever has this attitude in life, they are successful always, even if they fail externally, materially they will be successful because they will elevate their consciousness and go back to the spiritual world at the time of their death. <clears throat> okay, like we have the example of the great Jatayu who fought with Ravana when he kidnapped Sita Devi in the Ramayana. And then we know that he lost his life, but before he was about to die, Lord Ram saw him and he said, you know, at this very moment, I will send you to Vaikuntha, my own abode. Okay, so... In material life, you uh, you need to achieve results. But in spiritual life, you may not want to have, uh, you, you need not have good results always, you know, because uh, God is there with you. He sees you. So for God, if you work hard, that itself is success in the eyes of God. Okay, Like Jatayu, he could not defeat Ravan. But he fought, fought, fought and fought and he gave up his life. So he was successful. Is there any manager or boss who you go and say, oh, you know, actually I tried this work for 8 hours, 10 hours, 20 hours, but I couldn't get the results, you know. Will you give me a promotion? You know, the boss will like say, get lost. Who are you? <laughs> All right. Number 10. This is classic. This is gold. This is this is this is very 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 beautiful and very important and very serious also and yet very funny <laughs> it can be very simple or very complicated for some people okay number 10 you can trust others now i know so many of you will write down now in the comments no so many people have cheated me how can i trust him i can't trust anybody it doesn't work no and no see Trusting others does not mean that you trust them blindly. Then you are just being an idiot or a very unintelligent person. Okay, so there's nothing great in um, having uh, this, you know, blind trust. Okay, I'm not saying of trusting blindly, but if you see positive, ten tangible results, if that person has a good history, no, then you can actually trust others. Okay, like like sometimes uh, I see people. Uh, they cannot trust others and they approach them like uh, sometimes there was one once uh, a person came to me uh, from Canada <clears throat> he was a Pakistani person actually this I had mentioned in one of my stories in, in Instagram so he was a uh, Pakistani uh, staying in Canada he was an aged person actually maybe in his 60s or something so he told me uh, Mr. Kalita I would like to have a consultation from you and then I said, okay, yeah, uh, yes, very good. Go ahead. You can go to my website and book a reading. I'm always available. And then he said, no, I will, I won't pay you money unless you show me that you can predict properly for my, uh, my, my nephew. So first you have to see my nephew's chart and then uh, you, you have to correctly predict the nephew's past. Only then I will pay you money for my chart. And then I said, okay, well, fine. I can do that. But in case I give correct predictions, do you promise me to pay for two charts? And then this person never replied my messages again. Okay, so this is an example where now I'm not saying you have to trust me or somebody else. Okay, but if, if you cannot trust somebody, then why to approach them? Okay, so if you approach them, have full trust and 
benefit yourself and also others okay so i hope these 10 signs of a great jupiter helped you to identify your own jupiter in your chart and if you have any questions queries or comments please let them know in the comment section and please write among the 10 which one do you think is the most important sign to have a good jupiter and apart from these 10 what are some other signs that you have seen for a great jupiter okay thank you so much for your patience and for hearing me <laughs> without interrupting <laughs> for consultations regarding your chart you can always go to the description section God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you'll find him. And if you're new, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Take care. Jai Shri Ram. Jai Guru Maharaj. And wish you all the best for the Jupiter's transit in Taurus. Thank you.